Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SCMPE or SCPM. I'm CA Anujalota. We are doing a chapter called as Preparation of Performance Reports. You all will understand that it is important to measure the performance of the employees, of the managers, of the entire organization also. So therefore you come to know, is the organization, is the manager, is the employee doing good or not? If he is not doing good, you can always try to be taking some corrective action now. And every company will have their own performance measures. There is no... A standardized kind of a form like you know that we wish to be measuring only these aspects you can measure any aspect example we all have done balance scorecard whereby if a company is a profit company we like to measure it from four angles financial perspective consumer perspective internal perspective learning and growth perspective so a company can measure whatever they all want but we always say that don't try to measure too many things you'll waste a lot amount of time try to measure all those things that actually matter and something that is important for the organization to be achieving. Uh, also request you all to be joining our Telegram channel for the frequent updates on this subject. Okay. And in case you wish to be enrolling for our course, then the link is there in the description. You can always be enrolling it. And the moment you will be enrolling, lecture start, there'll be no need for you all to be calling us. Okay. So let's start it off with the question for today. Which one of the following statements is true about internal performance reporting? Okay. So, which of the following statements are true about internal performance? Okay, give me the four options, please. Four options are always contain a mix of financial and non-financial measures. Okay, second, can take any form that management chooses. Okay, C, are required by an accounting standard to be based on balance scorecard system. Okay, and D, Contain the same information as financial accounting, but they are produced on monthly rather than annual basis. Now, this question is super simple, common sense kind of a question. So, I guess that you all can comment below the correct answer. Okay, see. Now, part A always contains a mix of financial and non-financial uh, measures. It might not always contain. That depends upon whatever you are trying to be measuring. Internal reports can contain financial data, can contain non-financial data. Financial information means say profit, say sales, up and so on. Something that is available from your financial records also. Non-financial, something that is not available from your financial books. It could be say labor turnover. It could be the feedback from the consumers. Okay, all those particular things. Those are called as non-financial performance indicators. Okay, so it may contain, may not contain. Always, it is not necessary to have the financial and the non-financial measures. It depends upon the organization. Okay, B. Can take any form that the company chooses. Of course, yes. It is there for internal performance measurement. So, therefore, the management has to decide the form. Like, you know, that uh, what we wanted to measure, how it is calculated, what was the actual figure, what was the deviation from the standard set, all those things. So, therefore, the format is to be decided by the company itself. C are required by an accounting standard to be based on balance scorecard system. Now, obviously, this is not true. There is no accounting standard that we are trying to follow over here. But our accounting standard is basically all the financial reporting. We are not trying to be doing that. This is internal reporting. Internal reporting, this is there for our reference. Okay, so therefore, it is not based upon any accounting standard or something. And D, contains the same information as financial accounting statements. Of course not. It can contain so much amount of information. Example, suppose you are, say, a IT company. You can try to be measuring how many correct lines of code a, a software engineer has written. You can go to that extent also. So therefore, like, you know, that, like, it can contain any information. Okay, might not be from your financial reports. One more thing in point number D, but they are produced monthly rather than annually. Now that depends upon the company. Are you want to be producing it on a monthly basis or say a weekly basis or say a daily basis? That depends upon you. There is no rule for that. So answer should be B over here. It can take any form that the company selects. So answer should be B. Yeah, that is the correct one. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time in another lecture. Uh, till then, take care. Happy learning. Bye.